I'm about to do something that you should probably never do. I'm actually gonna buy a bundle. I'm gonna buy a bundle dragon. You know how weird that is for me to say that I never buy anything in this game that's just a bundle, but you know, I haven't bought anything bundle wise in so long in DML, and this Libra dragon just avoided us for the whole month. I'm gonna buy this bundle for the 999 gems. It's not a great deal by any stretch, and this dragon's probably gonna come out in chain breeding events, but um, chain breeding events are not the easiest thing in the world to deal with. So I'm gonna buy a full price clam subscription, which is also not ideal. Normally I highly suggest that you wait until these clam subscriptions go on sale for super cheap. It's like two pounds and you get the full value out of it. It's incredibly good. They don't happen too frequently, normally during divine events, ancient events, things like that. But I'm gonna buy an eight pound 40 bundle and we're gonna get this dragon. So there we go, I've hidden my transactional information out of your stinky paws and now we're gonna get 20 gems every single day that we log back in. That's how the clam works, but we've got just enough to buy ourselves that bundle now in the shop. So there it is, view bundle, we've got the gems, buy bundle. Doesn't even ask me if I want to confirm that, but there we go. So we get the Libra Dragon, 21 million gold and 1.88 million food. The golden food is meaningless to me, the only thing I care about is the dragon. Um, but, one thing that I will add is that I'm going to get a lot of gems back because we currently have a gem spending event. So um, keep that in mind, keep that in mind that uh, right now we do indeed have this gem spending event on. So if you are going to buy the bundle like I did or buy something else, now would be the time. Apparently that puts me in position number 11, really. That's like barely anything compared to normal. I mean, I'll, I'd take an extra 75 gems, but we're almost definitely going to get kicked out of that spot. But either way, that is that done, skis. So we will go on to our eggs. Where is this legendary? There is Libra. So we will pop him in there. He's going to take two days to finish hatching. And then when he hatches, we will finally have the Twilight Collection complete so we're actually gonna get another dragon out of this and then of course we need to breed Capricorn and then we will um, work on finalizing this zodiac collection for this underwhelming zodiac dragon but anyway you know I didn't spend anything during the ancient event at all so I'd rather just spend it on something that we've already been working on for a year rather than a meaningless ancient event, to be honest with you. I find this to be more value for me. And plus we get a legendary that we didn't have, which is pretty good. So now we need to be on it with this Capricorn breeding. I do not want to miss out on another one. I was breeding the whole month for this one as well, but it just was not having any of it. Another thing is that right now you'll notice that card packs, we have the pieces for the Independence Dragon back again. But we can also get pieces for the Gargoyle, and I forgot that we have actually been waiting for pieces for Mr. Gargoyle for a very long time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and get some pieces of Mr. Gargoyle. I forget, we can get them out of these ones, right? Yeah, we can. Because for a second there I was like, hang on, do these ones even give us pieces for him? The answer is yes. Don't be an idiot. And by doing this, we do also get pieces for other dragons as well that we don't have yet. Ooh, three! You see, it's really disappointing when you get duplicate rare pieces, for example, and you get all three blues, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna get it! And there's like, no, you're gonna get some meaningless, terrible dragon that you've already had 5,000 times. But... We're almost definitely gonna get Gargoyle here. If we want to get Gargoyle, this would be some pretty terrible opening luck. Like, no joke, it would be horrific. Maybe it would finally push me to give up. Like, look at that, three rares, all of them for dragons that I don't want. Very disappointing. Okay, now that I've said that we're almost definitely gonna get it, it's gonna, it's gonna do, it, do me dirty, right? I love him! I love the middle boy so much. Little marshy. I forgot that he existed. There we go. 14 out of 14. Boom, bang. There is another new dragon. Dragon complete. Gargoyly. Toily. 
I love his little horns on his head as well, so we'll claim him. And then we do actually have the room for him. That's nice. That is nice indeed. So he is only a rare, so his hatching time is going to be super short at 16 hours and 40 minutes. Look at his horns! Look at his little horns. Oh, I love him. But, you know, very soon we are going to actually get to 500 dragons on Windows because, you know, we've got more dragons on our mobile account as well, which means that we're definitely over that 500 mark, but we're going to hit the 500 dragon milestone on Windows soon as well. Well, relatively soon. Would have been a lot easier if we'd have gotten any of the ancient events stuff out of the way. But we've got the Christmas events coming up, we've got other new dragons coming. So we've got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to prep for. Ah boy, but you know, it felt good having nearly a thousand gems just in the bank and then we just spent them like that. And again, the only reason I find it acceptable this time to actually buy that bundle is because I'd bought most of the gems on Super Sale. Of course I would rather it that we had another clam sale on right now so that I could um, have bought more on sale stuff, but it is what it is. Now if a clam sale comes on tomorrow, I'm going to feel a little bit gypped, but you know, I, I don't think it's too bad. Even though I complain about this game and the ancient events and the way that it takes it, you know, every so often I don't mind spending a, t a tiny, tiny tad. Even though I get all of it back from YouTube videos, obviously. Um, but, hey, that's not the point. But, for the remainder of today, I guess we'll just do more of our enchantment stuff because... Boy, howdy, do we need the enchantment materials, or what? I mean, it feels pretty good finally having four level 100 fully enchanted dragons, two of them being divine, two of them being legendary. It feels good. You know, having the choice, it's like, you can choose three dragons, or maybe Nez is going to be more useful in this situation. Whew, crazy, I know. And then eventually we will be getting Ikez up to max enchantment. Although now that the Dragon Dice event is over, I predict that getting those ancient mats is going to become um, the most tedious thing in the world. But I'm sure we'll do it eventually. It took us a couple of months with Nezha. Took us a couple of months with Andy and all the others. We'll get it eventually. I just wish that there was a better method for getting enchantment materials like what we had during Dragon Dice because for all the problems and issues and major glaring annoyances from Dragon Dice the enchantment materials that the event gives I will always be extremely grateful for and it's a really really good change or a good addition to an event I guess I should say it's just especially for the newer players or players that haven't been playing for years, getting them to stack up on pieces is pretty difficult. And you can say, yeah, go and derank in the enchantment league so you get easier fights, sure, but at this point we've got so many different types of materials and like overpowered dragons coming out that, you know, your legendary mats became a little bit easier to get. I think Divine Mats should be made considerably easier to get as well. I also think the Ancient Mats should be considerably easier to get. But will that happen? Doubtful. I'm very doubtful on that. I'm holding out hope, but it doesn't have to be as grindy as it is, is the point. It's like everything in DML. It doesn't have to be that grindy. They just make it arbitrarily really grindy. And people accept it. I don't know why. It's just when things are done unnecessarily or at just a straight detriment to all the players. That's the thing that I have a problem with. But anyway, I'm not ranting today. Today we're talking about good, happy things like finally being able to complete that collection which has been haunting me. Um, you know, 
there, there are people in DML, you're, you've got people on one side of the fence that are like, if you ever spend a penny on a mobile game, you're a sado. I get that, because to an extent it's kind of true, because a lot of mobile games don't last very long and people waste a lot of money on them for no reason. I get that. But then you got people on the other side that say, if you're going to play a mobile game, you have to spend money, otherwise you're wasting your time. And then it's like, yeah, I don't agree with you either. I think if you like dragons, and you like breeding, and you like doing stuff in-game, feel free to spend money. But that doesn't mean that you have to defend all the events and everything else in the game that just isn't that good at the same time. You know, that's just my take though. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. That is honestly up to you, but um, you know, that is all of our enchantment for now. Uh, so if we go back to Ikez here, you can see that we're very far away from having the materials that we need. This is what I mean, it's just the new divine. It's so grindy. It is so grindy. It's unbelievable. There's also a green chest in here, which I am um, not into, because this is another thing for, I guess, lower level players, which gives guaranteed low-grade materials. But honestly, if you're grinding in the lower brackets anyway, you shouldn't need this. But... <laughs> Should another payment chest method. The epic chests are not worth 10 tickets with a value, because 10 tickets is extremely expensive, but, you know, barely anything is ever worth anything in this game when it comes to bundles, so, what do I know? What do I know? We've also got quite a bit of legendary now, we've got, well, let's stack it up a little bit of legendary, to say we've got a lot might be a little bit of an over-exaggeration. Um, but I don't know, I don't know what the next target dragon will be. We'll probably wait until the next ancient event and see then and get two legendaries, two divines, and two ancients. That'd be pretty cool, right? Two of each? That sounds like it'd be pretty rad, to be honest. But anyway, for now, I am going to leave you. So, um, if you're taking part in any of the, you know, gem spending events and everything else, best of luck to you. Um, if you're going for any particular dragon, like maybe you're going for Arctic in here, you know, best of luck to you on that front. I haven't even checked in here yet. More gargoyle dragon pieces, snowman pieces, gems. Twelve gems! I guess that's kind of worth it, but I don't know, I'll decide at a later point. Anyway, like I said, have fun! I appreciate you being here. Best of luck. And, um, have a, have a wonderful time. Until I see you.